7 and 5 with Pastor John. Hi, thanks for joining me for Crosswind and 5. I'm coming to you today from the stage of our junior high youth room called Crosswind JV. And I'm bringing you an important message in our series called Living at the Next Level. How do you step through or step past the obstacles that you're facing in life? God is trying to move you from where you are to where he wants you to be, from move you from who you are to who he wants you to become. And in doing so, you're going to face obstacles. You're going to face challenges. You're going to face trials. You're going to face temptations. But how do you break through those obstacles? We could go to the book of Joshua and we can see that Joshua had to face an obstacle. Joshua had just become the leader of Israel after Moses had died. And the people of God were stuck at the Jordan River. The Jordan River was at flood stage. It wasn't a very wide river, maybe 100 to 200 feet in width. But because it was at flood stage, it was almost impossible to cross. But Joshua remembered God's promise to the people of God that he would take them across into the promised land. And he remembered how God had parted the Red Sea. And the Red Sea was 21 miles wide. So he believed God to get them through the barrier, through the obstacle. And here's five principles I want to give you quickly that will help you overcome obstacles in your life that we can learn from the life of Joshua. Number one is you got to determine to push through barriers. You can't let the obstacle stop you from going where God wants you to go. And if it's too big for you to handle, you have to ask God, how do I get through this? Joshua asked God and God said, let the priest take the Ark of the Covenant and step into the Jordan River. And as soon as their feet hit the water, the waters will part and you will walk through on dry land. Now being the priest, I would have been nervous stepping in the water because it's raging. It's a, a rushing river. But they stepped in by faith and the obstacle parted and the river parted and they went through on dry ground. So you have to determine your mind that you are going through the barriers that you face. The second thing is let each obstacle you face build confidence in you. Let it build the confidence of God in you so that you know that you can conquer anything that you face. God used every obstacle that the children of Israel faced, the Red Sea, the lack of provision in the wilderness where he sent bread and he sent quail and he provided water, and then the parting of the Jordan River, and then the conquering of the different nations that had taken up residence in Israel. All of those things worked together to build their confidence that God was with them and providing for them. You need to let God put confidence inside of you that he can do the impossible in your life. The third thing is take each obstacle one at a time. God didn't ask Joshua and the people of God to fight every army and cross the Jordan River at the same time. He allowed them to cross the river, to get set up, and to rest before they engaged in the battles. And sometimes we wonder, why did he make them fight these battles? Why did they have to fight these battles? We have to think about it in terms of the history. Israel had moved from Israel to Egypt during a famine. They were only supposed to be there a temporary time and to go back to the promised land. But they found life was good in Egypt. And then the Egyptians said, wait a minute, these Israelites are getting out of control. And they enslaved them. Then they wanted to be set free. Well, over the 400 years they were gone from the promised land, other people moved in and took their land. So all they were doing was taking back what rightfully belonged to them from God. But God gave them a plan. And in your life, you're going to have things that God gives to you that others will try to take away. You'll have things that will come against you. You'll have obstacles that will get in your way. But what you have to do is take on each obstacle at a time. Don't allow the obstacles to overwhelm you. The fourth thing is this. Remember past victories because they prepare you for future obstacles. In Joshua chapter 4, Joshua tells the leaders of each tribe of Israel to pick up a stone. There's 12 stones and they built a memorial and they built that memorial and that altar to honor the memory of what God had done. So when their children asked them or their children's children, what are these stones? They would say, remember when God parted the Jordan River for us. Remember when God provided for us in the wilderness. It was constantly a reminder that God would help them with future obstacles. The final thing is this, keep pressing forward. The tendency for a lot of us is to stay on one side of the river instead of going through the river to get to the promised land. We kind of want to set up camp there and be comfortable because sometimes when you get out in the middle of the river, it gets uncomfortable. But you can't go backwards with God. You can't stay in the middle with God. The only place God is moving is forward, and he's moving forward in your life. Thank you for joining me today for Crosswind and Five. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening to Crosswind and Five with Pastor John. If you
you would like to hear the complete message, please visit crosswing.org.